Hi, welcome to my first video um, on fancy foam. Today, I will be showing you how to turn your retaliator or your recon into this kind of gun. So, this will work on your recon, too. If you have a recon, it's pretty much a yellow one of these, except for the stock is different. So, I'll, if you... Do you have, if you are using a recon, I can't show you how to fix the stock, but I can show you how to fix the barrel. So we'll go ahead and start with the barrel for this mod. I'll also be showing you how to make your recon retaliator full action without taking it apart or like putting, like going really deep into modding, like taking apart the gun and then taking off the sliding part and stuff. So first you'll just take your barrel. Um, Start with this kind of barrel, and so first you'll take your barrel like this. Um, you need to get a screwdriver. Okay, so you'll need to get a your barrel, and then your screwdriver. Make sure it's the right size. Go ahead and take out all of your screws. There aren't that many screws in the barrel, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, I'll show you me unscrewing this so you can see where all the screws are so you don't miss any. There is one little one up there that you want to get to. Um, and if you're afraid like of taking apart Nerf Blasters because like you might break them or anything, you don't have to worry about this because you're only taking apart the barrel and there's no way you can really break the barrel other than like taking a hacksaw to it or something. Um, your blaster will still work without the barrel. Like if you lost any screws or something to your barrel, it will still work without it. Um, so there I have all the screws out. I'll just kind of slowly take that out off. This is what you will see inside. So you want to take, be careful not to launch any of these springs right here, like right here and stuff, because those are your nerf attachment parts. Um, don't wanna lose those. Um, and you have this, which your dart goes through, and, you, um, and it's sitting like this. Um, and we want, what we want to do is, like, we want to take it out and put it forward from, so it, it used to be here, so now we want to pick it up and put this little part right there. And it'll be kind of like a honey badger. You won't be needing this anymore. And you also won't be wanting that anymore. And then that back together and then you'll have something like this um you will also want to screw everything back together you will have a few extra screws that were in these um if you want to you could if you wanted to um you could also pop this back on like this and then put your little sight thing back on and everything go ahead and do that to show you what it would look like so if you were gonna put that back on you want to put your sight in right here because it is attached in here So there's a little slot right there for it, I think. I don't know. I'm sure you could figure out how to do that if you wanted to put these on still. And if you're worried about like you're getting rid of the safety orange right here, you're not. You like still have all of that right there. That is orange. So like, it doesn't kind of look like that. Um, this is kind of like a honey badger mod. Um, that's what some people do call it in other videos. So that is how to make your barrel like that. 
Now I'll show you how to do that to your stock. I don't have any extra retaliator stocks, so I'll just kind of show you what I did. I unscrewed everything, and it took a while because I had to figure out how to like take it apart because you have to like slip this off and stuff. And then uh, your stock should have orange things like going through it, um, and just kind of pull those out and then put it back together. And you love this. Um, for mine, I used a Raider stock, and I'll show you why in a bit. Um, this is my gun now. I use a Raider stock because it's, um, I really like it because you can like move it forward and back. It's adjustable. Like if you wanted to, you could turn this gun and just slip a bipod on it. Um, and then a scoop. Like if you really wanted a sniper, you could turn this into a sniper. And then pretty much have like a sniper rifle. Um, so that's why I really like the Raider stock. Um, if you want this to look like a honey badger, then you'd probably want to use your modified stock. I'm not really looking for a honey badger. I'm just looking for a cool looking gun. So now I'll show you how to make your gun bolt action. Do like that there are no screws or screwdrivers involved with this at all. It is very easy to do. So I just took a stamp, like one of those little hand stamps that you can like get packs at the Dollar Tree. People use them as party favors. Um, and I took the lid off and squeezed out all the ink. And then I put the lid back on and super glued the lid to the stamp. And then I ripped off the sticker on the lid and then super glued that to my gun and then wrapped it in white um, masking tape. You can wrap it in whatever t color of tape you want. I don't suggest duct tape. You probably wanna use like masking tape or electrical tape or painter's tape. Um, like if you had a yellow gun, maybe you'd wanna use like white painter's tape or something. And you wa we wanna let everything dry for a while and make sure you do tape it to the gun too. And then that's pretty much full action. Um, if you want one of these red dot site like thingies that I have on my gun, I just 3D printed it on, um, found the fat files on Yuggy. If you don't have a 3D printer, maybe you can find a friend that has one. If you know me in person and you want one of these, I might be able to 3D print you one. It's my 3D printer. But, yeah, um, that's my, that's how to modify your gun like this. I, um, I call this mod, um, if you did everything just like how I have mine, I call it the Raptor. I know there's already a Raptor Strike out there gun, but I really, I just like the word Raptor. So I call this gun the Raptor. Um, and I also have a flashlight attachment that I 3D printed for it somewhere, too. Um, and I also 3D printed a little silencer with my initials in it that, um, will fit over top of it like that if I wanted to, but, um, yeah, that's how to make this, um, to make your recon or retaliator look cool. If there are any, um, ways you want to see to make other guns look cool, go ahead and contact me. You can comment, um, you can talk to me in my dis um, channel discussion, and you can always email me at fancyfoam83 at gmail.com. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you like Legos, you can also check out my Lego channel, Bricks Assemble. Thanks for watching.